back to another video. Today we're on the last episode of Shadow and Bone. I'm so excited, but I'm also low-key kind of sad because I do know what's gonna happen. We haven't seen Nina Matthias for the for the last episode, so that means we're gonna get them in this one. And if everything pans out like the books do, we have some massive betrayal heading our way, and I'm not ready for that. Um, I'm ready to see Alina kick Kieran's ass. I'm ready for that. He needs to get his ass whooped. That man is, that man has become entitled. Okay. If you guys recall, last week's episode was, I mean, like, yeah, two weeks ago. That episode, not my favorite. I despise it with a, with a burning passion. So maybe this is our redemption arc. Yeah. Also, fun fact, I am wearing a giant hoodie. It's pretty much a hoodie dress. It's because it's winter and I'm cold and my house is cold too. Today's episode is called No Mourners, which is great. Um, we love the, the catchphrase coming back. And this is pretty much where everyone's paths converge. Except me and Matthias, they have their own little separate thing going on. But this is where everyone else's paths converge because the crows stowed away, Alina's sad, Kirgan's a bitch, and Mal is there. I'm always excited to see how everything looks because every single time the beginning is different, guys. And the light and the darkness. This episode is the culmination of Alina. I would love more character interactions between Inej and Alina. I think those would be great. And what can you really do on your own? Oh, you bitch. I made a funny little montage in my last, ep like, last episode of watching this um, of me hating the scene where they become bonded. So check out that episode if you haven't seen it because I think that's my favorite thing that I've edited so far. The goat Milo. Who's Milo? The goat. The goat? The way he's so offended by that is, is hilarious. Also, I love the thing that Kit does with the guns to be like Jesper, like the whole twirly thing. Sells it for me. Yo, the guy who plays Matthias Helvar, he's attractive as hell. That jawline is chiseled. They're very attractive, both of them. Yo, they're so attractive. He's very chiseled. Why are both of them so attractive? What is in the Six of Crows water? The thing is, I'm holding on to this desperate hope that they stay together, even though I know it's not gonna happen, because I've read the books and I know that's not what happens. We have an enemies to lovers to enemies to lovers thing happen. I'm not excited for it at all. I can't wait to introduce you to my truest love. I love how out of everything they kept in this entire thing, they have waffles. This is the beginning of Nina's villain arc, kind of, low-key, because she does join the crows, so I think that's like a villain arc kind of deal. This is for the Darkling, not Ben Barnes. Oh, shut the hell up. She's never gonna love you, man. Like, leave her alone. So I already know how she breaks free, first of all. Um, ooh, wait! Crossover! I wasn't expecting Mal, Jesper, Kaz, and Inej. Mal and Kaz would not be friends because both of them have gigantic egos. And they are very, very pig-headed. Not pig-headed, but like, they're very, very determined and hard-headed. Jesper and Mal would get along because Jesper would probably bring out the more like, boyish side of Mal. Because I think he likes to think he's a man, but really, he, like, He's a boy. And I think he would he would be kind of pleased by the way that Inej thinks of Alina. So yeah, maybe they could become besties. No, you don't. I feel so bad for her. I I've seen so many edits of her stabbing him. When does it happen? This is retribution. Okay, this is so stupid. He is so stupid. If he thinks this is gonna earn her respect or love or anything. And I feel so bad for Zoya because her aunt's there. If you know Zoya's story, her family was actually fucking stupid and her aunt was the only good one. And now her aunt could be hurt. 
God damn it. They decided to mow the lawn now. Inej, come on, babe. Kick his ass. Zoya, help a bestie out. I want, I want a, um, an organization. Women united against the Darkling. Yes! Stab him. Stab him. It will take more than this. You should have gone for the head. I always go for the head. Worked last time for you. Also, besides the point, Freddy Carter looks really good when he's scared. I don't know how to... <laughs> that seems so mean, but he does. He looks really cute when he's scared. She has to understand that the, the, the stag chose her. Again, the Morozova stag, one of my favorite animals that has been ever CGI'd in the world of CGI. I just think it's the most beautiful creature ever. I want to pet it. I want to see it. I want to... I don't know. I just want to be in the presence of it. It looks so calm. Girlie knows what to do. Stab him. I do not condone murder unless it's for the right person. You may have needed me. But, but I never, never needed you. <laughs> oh, she took the, the molten thing out of his hand. So you can't control her. You cannot claim what was not given to you. The stag chose me. She's a smart girl. She is finally using her brain. Oh, thank God. I hated that collar. Trying to save us. You weren't trying to do shit, bitch. <laughs> you betrayed us worse. Run faster. Run faster, your mother, run fast for your father. Both of which are dead. He's gonna turn over and shoot him. There we go. I'm waiting for a Volker to just grab him while he's screaming. It'd be so funny. I don't have to kill you, Darkling. Your past will do it for me. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> it's just a ba. <laughs> Why would they make Kaz walk all the way? That just seems mean. That man has a messed up leg. Y'all should have just... Kind of rude. I think I like the hand with the dagger in it. Oh my god, I love them. They're so cute! Now why do I ship them? It's not a gift. Just keep quiet about who I am. Where I go from here. <laughs> the, the dramatic change in how she talks to Inej and Kaz. I, the way that I understand it is she knows how to speak to either of them. Inej Lo like is very reverent towards her so she is very soft and kind and like playful kind of with cats it's all business so she's like yeah i don't fuck around either try me but we do need you he needs you. Need you oh my god he said i need you that's so cute this is bad this is very bad this is 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 bad He's gonna yell at her. I don't- I can't handle this emotionally. I can't. Don't- please. Oh god, he's gonna try and kill her. Oh no. He's gonna know if she sold him out. I refuse to look at it. I refuse to look. Why are you using the magic on him? No! <laughs> <laughs> I can't look. I can't. This this whole part is painful. I can't. He's gonna be alive. I already know. He's just gonna be crawling out and be like, Ha ha, I'm back, bitches. And I'm gonna be like... If he's back, mm, Just stay dead. Just stay down. Ah, oh, bullshit. He looks so stupid. You stupid, stupid man. Stupid. Why couldn't he just stay dead? Also, love the hair. <laughs> this is the problem with me and Ben Barnes, is I just don't like the Darkling. But I love him, so I have to comment on how good he looks sometimes. Aw, oh, darn it. Really, Shadow Monsters? Really, man? The end of the episode. Um, how do I feel? Is a great question. Um... 
here's how I do feel. Uh, terrible. <laughs> I know they're gonna make a season two just because they ended it with such an obvious cliffhanger and he's obviously back and there's so much more to cover in the books. Yeah, I'm still kind of sad that I finished even though it took forever. The character development for Alina was amazing. I love Jessie. I want to see her in more stuff. She's just so cute and like badass when she needs to be and I just love the entire cast so much and I'm ready for season two. Because I do know that season two isn't really going to cover Six of Crows just because Shadow and Bone itself as a series isn't done. But I do hope they delve into the whole Six of Crows plotline. Just because I want to see Wylan, I want to see Matthias try to kill Nina again and then they get back together. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a great time watching the video. Uh, this is the ending of a series for me, which is why it's low-key kind of sad, but I do have a lot more content planned out. One Another series of things that I'm planning to watch is The Twilights like movies because they recently came out on Netflix. Twilight is a movie series that I adore mainly because it's really bad and I think it's a, it's hilarious. I think it's misbranded as romance, like supernatural romance. It is most definitely satirical and it looks, it really, really look, reads as something that SNL writers would have written and then just kind of scrapped just because it's so bad that it's good. So I will get to that eventually. I'm also planning on reviewing Grey's Anatomy because I just started it and there's a lot of opinions I have and I'm on season four and that I started a week ago. I think generally by how my standards are I'm going pretty slow but I will definitely be doing a review of it. I have a podcast episode coming out about King of Scars so look out for that. You can check out my podcast episodes every Tuesday on Where Do Monkey Tales with Gia, which is when I talk about true crime cases and mythology and all that fun stuff. Or you can look at Musings for Ancient Introvert, which is where I will be doing King of Scars. I pretty much talk about whatever I want on Fridays. You can check out my Spotify. I put covers. I might be doing a little bit of a full stop on covers for a bit just because I'm at my parents' house. Black Lives Matter resources are in the description box below, along with anti-Asian hate crime resources, movies, everything down there. Check it out. Wear masks, hair sanitizer, Omicron variant is actually very bad. Um, and yeah, quarantine yourself if you have it. Stop going out. Like just, you know, make life easier. School became online for me for three weeks, which is a travesty. So make my life easier. Please make me happy by just doing what you're told. And with that, I have to say, stay safe, stay sane, stay sanitary. I'll see you guys next time and bye. This is someone. This is someone. This is someone.